And joining us now is Bishop Larry Silva of the Diocese of Honolulu. Thank you so much for being with us, Bishop. Good to be here. Thank you. Uh, and it's been exciting times over the last few years with the two canonizations uh, in your diocese with uh, Mother Marianne and Father Damien. And I understand that uh, uh, you now have relics of Mother Marianne. Yes, we do. Um, actually, we have uh, all of her remains are in Honolulu now. Uh, in 2005, they were taken from uh, Kalapapa Molokai, where she died and where she was buried. And they were moved to the Franciscan Sisters Mother House in Syracuse. Um, but the, the number of sisters is dwindling, their building was getting older, and they decided to close that mother house. And so in the process of closing it and moving the sisters to another location, they asked if we would like to have the remains of Mother Marianne back in Hawaii, and I, of course, said yes, we would. So last July 31st, we had a wonderful celebration. The, uh, the remains were brought to the cathedral, uh, where they were enshrined. So we had a, a, a mass of thanksgiving and a, a civic interfaith ceremony beforehand, lots of people on hand to, uh, to welcome her back. So it was a very exciting time for us. So the relic, uh, the, the body is there in the Cathedral of Our Lady of Peace, which is now a basilica. Okay. Um, and there is also a, a relic of St. Damien there. So people can uh, visit and uh, venerate these relics. You were talking about the, uh, the excitement uh, of having the relics back with the Catholic community too, but talk about um, um, the Honolulu, the Hawaii, uh, you know, how important it is to have uh, their own saint as well. Well, uh, I think we're doubly blessed to have not just one saint, but two. And uh, it's amazing that they both kind of became saints on a little tiny spit of land in a little tiny island uh, that was uh, a place of great suffering and exile of people from their families and, and the, their familiar surroundings. And, and yet they rose to that uh, suffering and that challenge and uh, really helped people to have hope and light. And so we're really trying to, uh, to focus on what they did to inspire us on what we need to do. We have lots of homeless people in Hawaii, for example, and of course, uh, Damien especially, but also Marianne um, did a lot to uh, build homes, to make sure that, that people's physical needs were taken care of. And uh, so we want them to be an inspiration to us now. They're not just historical figures that have nothing to do with us now. Um, we want them to inspire us so that uh, you know we can create more affordable housing, so that we can take care of our brothers and sisters in need. Yeah, it was, it's funny too. It's, it's, and talking, uh, you know, when people think of Hawaii themselves, they think of vacation and all that stuff. But I'm sure that the diocese has the same issues that many dioceses face. Oh yes, we have many, many challenges, and uh, you know, there's a lot of poverty. A lot of uh, the cost of living is very high, so. Uh, sometimes people who grew up there can't afford to live there, uh, so it's it's very challenging. We also had, if I may, uh, uh, another uh, wonderful celebration in May. Uh, Damien was ordained a priest at our cathedral in Honolulu. He had come to Hawaii in uh, 1864 and arrived in March, and he was ordained May 21st, 1864. So this past May 21st, I had the privilege of ordaining a priest at our cathedral on that very day, the 150th anniversary of uh, Damien's ordination there. I'm going to be ordaining another priest uh, who is a, a local fellow who who's, belongs to religious order, and he will be ordained on the 175th anniversary of Damien's birth, which is January 3rd, 2015. So a lot of exciting things happening. Yeah, it's great. And, and do you feel like um, there'll be more people coming now to the cathedral, uh, you know, more pilgrimages as well? We hope so, and we are trying to renovate the cathedral. The cathedral is 171 years old and it's a uh, need of renovation, and so we're trying to, to raise funds to do that. As part of that, we will also build a separate 
chapel on the side for the relics of St. Mary Ann and St. Damien. And we may, may someday even have a third saint. Um, yeah. yeah, his name is Joseph Dutton, and uh, he was a soldier in the Civil War. Um, after the war, he uh, was married for about a year, and that fell apart, and then he was drinking and womanizing and had a dissolute life. He had a conversion, became a Catholic at age 40, and uh, went to monastery, um, Gethsemane Monastery for about a year. Figured that wasn't his vocation, but then um, he decided to uh, volunteer to help Father Damien. So he went about two years before Damien died and stayed another 42 years after that. So he stayed right there in Kalapapa, Molokai, uh, serving the, the patients with leprosy all of those 44 years. So we are th thinking about proposing his cause for canonization as well. That's great. It's all exciting things. And uh, yes. Yes. it could be uh, renamed the Island of Saints. Right. <laughs> well, thanks so much, Bishop, for being Thank with us and sharing much. that. Thank you very much.